So we all heard the bad news that Filmic Pro is most definitely changing to a subscription model. Before you were able to make a one-time payment of $30 including the in-app purchase and own the app for good but now they are testing out different price points for different countries but as for now the base price is set to around $3 per week which means you'll be paying $12 per month making it a total of $144 per year. If you add the cinematographer's kit, which is a one-time payment of $14, you'll be paying $158 for the first year, making it one of the most expensive apps in the world. Now, I was very surprised that they decided to go this route after being such a great and affordable video app for many years. I personally am not a fan of subscription models. I prefer a one-time payment like Apple does with Final Cut Pro. I do have certain services for which I'm paying for monthly, such as Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, if I find that the product provides me with the value I'm looking for, I don't mind paying for it every month. But with the Filmic Pro app, I don't think it's worth it as there are other great video apps out there, such as the Beast Cam uh, for a one-time payment of $2 which offers similar features. Most important ones being able to control focus and exposure separately, as well as white balance, resolution and frame rate, bit rates, shutter speed, and ISO. So there would be no point for me in subscribing to Filmic Pro's uh, subscription plan when I can get all of these features I need in the other apps. Let's now assume all third-party video apps would have the same subscription plan like Filmic Pro. You would still have the option to use the native camera app, which comes for free and is, in my opinion, still a great option for producing high quality videos. And I use it 90% of the time. The only downside to it being that it has some limited functionality, but if you know how to use it, there is a workaround to it. It is only a matter of time before Apple releases a pro video mode for the native camera app, just like Samsung and Xiaomi did with their latest phones. And when that happens, I believe that Filmic Pro will have a hard time convincing people to subscribe to their app. I've been getting a lot of comments on my Filmic Pro tutorial saying that Filmic Pro has changed to a subscription plan and that it's way too expensive. And for those having the app saying that they are not going to switch to the subscription model. And I can completely understand that I'll be doing the same thing. No one wants to pay for something they've already paid for. I'd be okay with a lower subscription fee such as one to $2 per month or 15 to $20 per year. I'm not sure yet how this will apply to those who have paid for the app. I've had it for almost three years, but I believe that future updates might not be included. Now it hurts to see that a great video app like Filmic Pro is moving to an expensive subscription uh, model and I can only hope that they will change their minds or at least offer a cheaper alternative for those of us who can't afford to pay that much money every year. Now Filmic Pro says, I quote, we are reviewing various options for app pricing for the future to try to find something that works for as many people as possible. I strongly believe that smartphone filmmaking uh, should be affordable for everyone as smartphone cameras are not yet at the level of mirrorless cameras and I don't think it will be for a while. Um, I absolutely support Filmic Pro's endeavor to continue developing one of the best smartphone video apps. Still, I hope they will find a way to make it more affordable for those of us who want to continue using their app. I also don't plan on making tutorials around Filmic Pro right now unless it will be more affordable for most mobile shooters as smartphone filmmaking should be more accessible to everyone not only for professionals but also for hobbyists and those just starting out. So the question begs who is the Filmic Pro app for now with the new subscription model? I guess professional mobile filmmakers that produce feature films, documentaries, and commercial work that are making a living from it and need certain features of the app that you won't find anywhere else, such as remote control for video monitoring, as well as a wireless control. 
uh, the Frame.io camera to cloud feature for a cloud-based workflow. I personally don't necessarily need those features. It's certainly nice to have them, especially when you're working with a large crew, but as a one-man crew for my workflow, it's not a deal breaker. I understand that the team behind Filmic Pro needs a subscription plan for a constant cash flow in order to improve the app and keep the development going. But I hope they will find a way to make the app more affordable for those of us who can't or don't want to pay that much money. Now I want to know your thoughts on this. Are you using Filmic Pro? Are you thinking about switching to another video app? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm really sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I thought it was important to share this with you. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for also watching this video. Keep your heads up and keep it mobile, and I'll see you in the next video.